y'all. It's me, Kaylin, with Case Crochet Haven. How are y'all doing tonight? I am good. I just got out of the shower. Um, been trying to take a nap, and it's not working. So I figured maybe relax my body a little bit with a nice hot shower, and then I can go to bed. <laughs> I've been up since early this morning, so I do need to take a nap today. So I'm still working on this Forever Cardi. Um... I know I did decide at the last moment to change hook sizes because I didn't want to fight with my my thumb hurting right here on this hand. So I changed the hook size. I got the back finished and one front panel and I started on the second front panel, you know, because there's only two. <laughs> and this is all I have of that. And I thought, oh. Now I gotta go find me some yarn so I can piddle away, make something in between before I go get me some more yarn. So I was digging through all my yarn. I come across the bag from um, Hobby Lobby and there wasn't a whole lot in there because you know I did use a, a, like 11 skeins of it to make the blanket uh, that I've shown in a previous video. and. Um, so, it wasn't very many, but while I was digging, I was, you know, moving stuff around, and I found this. A whole skein. It feels like there might be some missing out of it, but not many. I do, not much, I should say. Um, I do remember using some of it for the witch's hats that I made. So, it's not quite completely full, but it's full enough. And then, I was digging in... My other box, because I was trying to put some away, um, some, because I have a, I have a weird system. I have full skeins in one, um, partial skeins in the other, and then I have, um, finished works and stuff I'm fixing to work on in another. So I have three big totes full of, so while I was digging through that, I found this, this that I'll have to fix. Which, this was in a bag of millions I got. Well, I got a box full. I got 10 pounds, I think. <laughs> Maybe. Anyways, and this. So, I do believe I have enough yarn because, yeah, she's not very big. So, I already got the biggest piece done and, well, the sleeves. Hmm. Yeah, I should have enough. I'm pretty sure I should have enough. <laughs> But, um, yes, so I don't need any more yarn, which is a bummer because I was thinking, yay, I might go tomorrow. Yeah, no. Anyways. Oh, well. <laughs> Next time, right? Um, I do have some finished objects because yesterday I just did not want to work on that cardi at all. That cardigan has caused me a lot of grief. <laughs> So anyways, I decided, uh, since my brother liked my, um, Destination Anywhere hat, and he wanted it in the same color as mine, and this is a pattern by Heather, the Crochet Witch. Hey, Heather! Anyways, um, he liked it, and he wanted one, said he wanted the same color, so I made him one, and I think I like his a little better, because it is a little more snug fit. But I had my hair up earlier and I tried to put it on and it just didn't look right. So I think I like mine better. So, <laughs> but this was made with the actual hook that Heather called for, which was an I. And, you know, I like to do what I want and I made mine with a J because that's what I do. I make all my hats, my hats with a J. So this is the other one I made. And this was the leftover. Like I had. I made me a scrap, I'm just trying, words, <laughs> something I don't know right now, <laughs> I am making me a, I'll, I'll look to see where it was at, it's still over there, um, I'm making a scrap gam, it's probably going to be like a little lap gam though, um, I made it 200 uh, chains long, and I made two rows with what was left after I made this hat right here, and this one. And then mine, of course. So, if you get one of them jumbo ombres, you can make three hats out of it, at least. But I'm pretty sure if you did this, like, 
just a typical nothing fancy you could probably get a whole lot more hats out of it but you know that's if you like making hats I do like making hats because they're really quick and really easy to make so I do have some other things that I do want to work on this it is the color dominoes I did good I read that upside down anyways I made a oops I hit the camera my bad I made an infinity scarf I wasn't gonna make it an infinity scarf but by the time I got to the end of it and I saw how long it was and how I would have to wrap and then it would probably be short once I wrapped it I decided to sew it together and make a, an infinity scarf so I want to match this winter you know not wear something like this which you know I am funky I do wear stuff like this so uh, you know I do what I want I said that already so yeah I'm gonna make me a hat I, oops, I might make it a destination anywhere it's a jumbo five I don't agree with that because I remember when I was working with this maybe it doesn't say jumbo on it maybe it just says no it says bulky five I agree with that never mind I'll shut up so yeah I got that so I might make me a destination anywhere with the bulky and use a J see if I can get me a little look like this I might use a K make my destination anywhere with it <laughs> and then I found this and it's so soft it is called velvety smooth in the colorway silver it's a yarn bee and I did get this in the sale and uh, I might make me a hat out of this too who knows um so yeah that's it yeah, that's all I've done today um oh yeah ha huh. I forgot I got mail and um yeah well it's not happy mail like it, they didn't send it to me just because I actually won and I won uh, this one I just made a random comment yeah and this one I guessed a song yeah that's it this one you'll know whenever I show you the little card that comes with it you'll know where I got it from Setta's Place yes she had a giveaway of these little keychains that were uh, made by Kim the Crafty Nomad and I commented and I got it and I don't know if you can read it because it's so sparkly it says one crafty chick so yeah I'm excited oh I won and she also sent me tea which I am a big tea drinker but I'm the I mean this this tea in this right here is black and orange pico tea and I make it sweet this has got some Chinese or Japanese writing on it it could even be Korean I don't think it's Korean I think it's Japanese anyways um I'll try it I will but I'm not gonna guarantee I like it, it says put tea bag in a cup pour boiling water wait two to three minutes enjoy your tea and then she sent some true lemon to go in it which I don't drink lemon tea but I like lemons so I'll probably and my mouth is watering <laughs> I'll probably just do this out of the package so yeah I made a comment on the uh, the keychain video and I said I love Kim the Crafty Nomad and I do I watch a lot of her videos and then this I won from um, Julie the Whippy Chick she sent me a little card, ain't it cute? Oh, I didn't read the back. Oh, that's cute. Anyways, she sent me some stitch markers for me guessing her favorite childhood song. And here, let's see. Oh, you can't see because that's, I don't got. Let's see. You can see them on that, maybe. Yeah. They're a little just little plastic ones and they'll come in handy because I need stitch markers I don't have a whole lot <clears throat> but yes 
Miss Julie the Whippy Chick. She was in her car doing a little chat and she said that she had heard her favorite childhood song and she asked us to guess it and three people got it right. So me and two other people did. And she said, y'all win. Send me your addresses. I was like, oh, I didn't even know it was a contest. But I like free stuff. <laughs> something down there notifying me of something <laughs> anyways um yes so that's all that i have to talk about yarn related i guess uh except for y'all don't forget about my um christmas giveaway i'm not putting it in the title because i don't want anybody searching it out um but uh you send me a christmas ornament and it can be yarn and it can be craft um i had somebody ask me did it have to be something crocheted? And I asked what she was speaking of if it wasn't going to be crocheted. Uh, and she pours resin, which is like liquidy stuff. I don't, I don't know exactly what it consists of. I just know it's a liquid. And they put them in little silicone dyes and then let it harden. And then you have a little bitty thingy. So... I told her that was acceptable, so as long as it's something craft related, I will accept it. Um, but send those to me before December 11th of 2020 because I do want to have time to get you your winnings before uh, Christmas. And if not before Christmas, it can be a, a new thing we start and have Chris, uh, presents at the beginning of next year. You know, who knows, something can happen and the mail not work right. Sorry about that. Got interrupted. Somebody knocked on the door, and of course, you know, it was my son. He heard me in here talking, so he had to come in here and try and sneak, you know. He likes it whenever he interrupts. So, yeah. Yeah. I was going to do another video, but um, with all this and the schoolwork, you know, it's getting a little hectic. But I am, I'm making it. So, anyways, um, I believe that is it. Oh, ah, another thing. Let's, yes, okay. Remember my tutorial I did? Well, I finished the ones, which I finished this one on camera. Y'all saw that. But I finished the other one. And um, instead of making a Etsy post, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Instead of making an Etsy post, I'm just going to try and sell it here. Um, if you would like to purchase this, send me an email. My email is in the description box of every video, and I did find out how to put it on my About page, which you can't, well, you can't on your phone. You can't copy and paste from there, and I don't like that. You can't copy and paste nothing from YouTube. Um... <clears throat> Because I rely on that for spelling sometimes. <laughs> um, but if you're interested in this, I'm going to be selling it $40. That's with shipping included. So whatever whatever the shipping is, I'm not going to charge you any extra. I will take it out of the $40. So um, send me an email if you would like to purchase this. And, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. If you don't mind the fact that I wore the other one, that one is available as well. So, let me know. Um, you know, nobody will probably, you know, nobody will probably buy it. Who knows? Somebody may, you know, but I'm just trying to make a, a sale. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we're using it for. You know, people do shop updates. I want to do it like that. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to try and sell, so I'm just going to try that, you know. Um, if you are intimidated by my pattern or if you just don't want to make it I have one already made and it's available for purchase so anyways I think I'm going to end it now I think that's all I wanted to talk about um, if not I'll make another video and attach it to this or I'll just make another video later bye y'all <laughs>